All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in a key in JMA in 2025. Uh, this is a permutation and combination related question. We are supposed to find or rather write all the ways in which we can arrange five letters such that M is in the middle and uh, all these words are arranged in alphabetical order, right? So what it means is that if I'm using something like M here, then a and B, if I'm using, this is how it should be. A, B, and after that, M, and then maybe Y and Z, something like this. So they should be in alphabetical order. That is what is the idea here. So to do this question, we should first write this down, like all the alphabet, so that we get a better view. So let's write this down. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Mm -hmm. Why did I do this is because we want uh, before M all these letters and after M all these letters. So we need to count these letters so that I could select two out of them, right? So how many of them are there? So one, two, 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 four, two, six, two, eight, two, ten, two, twelve. So twelve letters out here before M and then 13 after this, then, then only there will be 26. So now you want M to be in the middle, then there are two spaces to be filled before this and two spaces to be filled after this. So you can select two out of this in 12C two ways, right? And then this in 13C two ways, and this is anyways in one way. So this is one into 12C two into 13C two, and that is what will be your answer. So there is a confusion might be here that why if I'm taking 12C two, right? How, how am I ensuring that A is first and B is second? That is what is our confusion could be, right? But when I'm doing this selection, right? So if I'm taking, this is the idea that if I'm taking A as my first letter, then B would be my second letter and so on and so forth, right? And this is correct. Is it If I multiply it by two, then I'm not like considering the order. Otherwise, I'm considering the order. Okay, so I'll I'll do it in a different way as well, just to explain that this 12C2 will be the number which I'll get if I just do this way, as in like ensuring the order is maintained. That will be a little long method, but it will actually give you an idea. So right now, this is what will be our answer. Let's calculate this. Factorial 12 upon factorial 2 into factorial 10. And then this will be into 1 into factorial 13 into factorial 11 into factorial 2, right? So what do I get generally? So this is 12 into 11 into factorial 10, right? Upon factorial 2 is 2 into 1, and this is factorial 10. So this gets cancelled. Similarly, 13 into 12 into factorial 11, and divided by factorial 11 into factorial 2, which is 2. So just concentrate on this part. This is what is the number if I'll get later as well. So this is 12 into 11 by 2, and this is 13 into 12 by 2. Then this is, these are the numbers I'll be getting later as well. So just concentrate on it. So, but for the time being, we'll just multiply. So 12 into 6, 2 into 6 will be 12, 2 into 6 will be 12. So what I get is 66 of, into 30, 78. So 78 into 66, so we'll multiply. So this is what I'll get, 5148. So 5148 will be my answer for this one. So now uh, we might be thinking why 12C2 here, right? And then why 13C2, why it should, I mean, how am I maintaining the order if I'm taking 12C2, right? So let's do it in a long way now. So let's, let's keep M in the beginning and then these two in the end. Now let's say, what do I do? I choose A in the beginning, right? So if I choose A, then how many ways I can choose other letters? I can choose all the 11 ones, right? Because then they will be maintaining order. If I choose AB, AC, AD, and so on and so forth, then I'll be maintaining that order. So if I choose first letter as A, so let's write this as A, then there will be 11 ways I can choose this, right? Then if I choose B, except A, I can choose anything. So because B, A will not be maintaining order. If I write B here, A should not be there. So then that will be done in 10 ways. And then if I keep going this way, I come to L, which can't be happening. So K and L will be the last one. So if I do K, then this will be done in one ways. So 
what am I getting? One, two, one plus. So this is what I'm getting a into 11 and he, over here. So if you look at this, then how many ways these are happening here? So this is one plus two plus three plus four plus 10, all right? And that is, sorry, 10 plus 11, which is nothing but this is a summation of uh, n terms, like up to 11. So this will be n into n plus one, which is 11 into 12 by two. So this is what I was saying that just pay attention to this. This is what is the first one which I got 12 into 11 by two. Now here, the same way, if I select P, then how many ways I can do this? So P, if I do, then this is possible to select in say 12 ways. And then if I select Q, then 11 ways. And this way, if I keep going, then the last one will be Y and Z. So if I select Y, then there'll be one way. So same way, if I just sum this up, then this will be one plus two plus three plus four plus 11 ways, which is again, n into n plus one by two, which is 11 into 12 by two, right? Which is, um, yeah, so sorry, this is up to 12, right? So this is 12 into 13 by two, which is again, this number, which you see here, right? How am I getting this? Is 12 C2 is nothing but this number, which is 11 into 12 by two, while this 13 C2 is nothing but this number 13 into 12 by two, right? So both methods are same, just that in this case, the only thing which you are, uh, understanding is that when you are selecting a the way you are selecting two out of 12 what you are doing is that you are maintaining that order if you multiply it by two then you don't maintain that order this ordering is maintained when i selection the selection of two is happening here too when i select two this um, ordering is maintained all right so yeah that's all about this question if you got any queries do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day